ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون قال الله تبارك وتعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا توبوا الى الله توبه نصوحا عسى ربكم ان يكفر عنكم سيئاتكم ويدخلكم جنات تجري من تحتها الانهار يوم لا يخزي الله النبي والذين امنوا معه نورهم يسعى بين ايديهم وبايمانهم يقولون ربنا اتمم لنا نورنا واغفر لنا انك على كل شيء قدير قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم التائب من الذنب كما لا ذنب له all praises and thanks due to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the lord of the universe we invoke blessing upon our prophet muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his mercy his blessing upon him upon companions and the companion of the companion tabi'in and the family of prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and all those people those who will follow him until the day of judgment may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those good people Dear brothers today I'm just briefly going to highlight the refinery system allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set in ourselves it means tauba expiations of our sins there are many deeds allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the quran and the prophet muhammadur rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned in ahadith the ayah i have recited if you look at the meaning very carefully you will understand how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us and after accepting islam this is the biggest blessing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my dear brothers and sisters dear youth and children the thing is that are we serious are we want to follow the sunnah of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam properly there is way and it is said when there is will there is way when you have will power doesn't matter you are healthy or not healthy or you are very strong person or weak person will power is strongest thing in you when you have this power with the blessing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my dear brothers when we listen the azan we answer the azan prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when you listen the azan say the same kalimat except hayya la sala hayya la fala muazzin says allahu akbar allahu akbar we say allahu akbar allahu akbar when he say ashhadu alla ilaha illallah we say the same thing ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah we say the same thing when he says hayya ala sala 
What is our response? لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. That is tawfiq min Allah. We are unable to do anything. We have no might. We have no power except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do, we try, Allah gives us tawfiq. So it happened with the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The thing is that the system Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set in, in our body, there are three kinds of nafs. Quran has mentioned, وَمَا أُبَرِّيُ نَفْسِ إِنَّ النَّفْسَ لَأَمَّارَةٌ بِسُوءٍ نَفْسِ أَمَّارَةٌ He always says, do this and that. Wrong thing. Sins. Evil and wicked things. And opposite side, نَفْسِ مُطْمَئِنَّ Those who are good doers, آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not enough only believing. Next thing, وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ They do good deeds. If you read Surah Al-Asr, many Mufassirin said, this is the summary of the whole Quran, the Surah Al-Asr. Everything included in that. وَالْعَسْرِ By the time, because time is the witness. What you did, what you are doing, and what you are going to do in future. All people, إِنَّ الْإِنسَانِ لَفِي خُسْرِ They are in the state of loss. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except those people, there are four exceptions. آمَنُوا Those who believe in وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Then they do good deeds. وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالسَّبْرِ They advise each other, not only they support the haqq, speak truth, but they advise others as well. In difficult time, not only they show patience, but advise others. That is the sympathy. That is heart to heart understand. That is Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Masarul Mu'minina. The example of the believer, like a one body, when you feel pain in your finger, it didn't mean, oh, the pain in the finger, I'm okay. No, because of that injury, because of that pain, the whole body is not feeling well. Because of that pain, maybe you have a fever, your whole body disturbed. This should be our spirit living in the society. We should feel pain in our hearts around the world. Anyone going through difficult time, like Palestine in our eyes nowadays, we should feel they are our brothers, they are our sisters, they are our mothers, they are like our fathers and mothers. Feel like your own family. What you can do? Whatever you can do, help them, support them. The best thing, Akram Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes it and very honorable thing, at least do dua for them. Oh Allah, make their life easy. Oh Allah, give them respectable life. They are the martyrs in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're getting paradise. Bal ahyaun. They are alive. In the Rabbihim yurzakoon. Allah give them sustenance, rizq. Walakin la tashurun. But you don't understand that life. These are the feelings. And that establish beautiful and nice community, my dear brothers. Where we living here, we have to set good example in front of others. We should be cooperate. We should set best and moral character in front of the people. We should be the ambassadors of Islam with our actions, not only with the tongue. Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَمَا أَرْسَلَّاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةً لِلنَّاسِ Allah send him for the all mankind. Allah is Rabbul Alameen. My dear brothers, there are a lot of responsibility upon our shoulders. So let's come towards point. The main point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set the system in ourselves. When we do all good deeds, establish good society, Wallah, you feel satisfaction. When you help the poor, needy people, your neighbors, doesn't matter they're Muslim or non-Muslim, they are your neighbor, they have right upon you, look after them, advise them, tell them, see them, it will impress them. Become ambassador of Islam. So Islam, when gives these kind of guidelines, 
it make you happier alladhina amanu wa tatma'innu qulubuhum bi zikrillah you get peace of mind peace of heart through the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this nafs mutma'inna the satisfied soul we can create in ourselves by doing good deeds amilu salihat and what is honor for you my dear brothers and sisters my dear youth and children what a great honor الذين تتوفاهم الملائكه طيبين when time comes angel come to take their soul away تتوفاهم الملائكه طيبين يقولون they said سلام عليك peace be upon you ادخلوا الجنه enter into the paradise in surah fajr allah says يا ايها النفس المطمئنه ارجعي الى ربك راضيه مرضيه فادخلي في عبادي وادخلي جنتي Oh, satisfied soul, go towards your Lord. Spend your life; you will be happy. Join my slaves in the paradise. That nafsi mutmainna. And other way, opposite. Tatawafahum al malaikat. When yadribuna wujuha hum adbar hum. When the angel of death come to the evil person, the wicked person, the sinners, the disbelievers. يضربون وجوههم وأدبارهم. They smack on their faces, on their backs, because he or she does not want to leave the body. Because at that time everything comes front of the eye. The person knows what he did. يا أيها الإنسان ما غرّك بربك الكريم. Oh, insan, oh, human being, which thing has deceived you? You left Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You forgot Him. Remember Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Look at yourself. Fi anfusikum. In your life, there are a lot of signs. Afalat ubsirun. Don't you see? Don't you understand? Then Allah says, "Fa inna hal la ta'mal absar, walakin ta'mal qulub alati fi sudur." The thinking power is finished. It's not the eyes are blind; it's the hearts. ولكن تعمى القلوب التي في الصدور. So, my dear brothers, that soul we have to create by doing good deeds. The third one, نفس اللوامة, that system Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala set in you. When you do something good, you feel happiness. But when you're going to do something, He says, "Don't do this one. Don't do this one. Inform you." But sometimes we do mistake purposely. Sometimes it happen accidentally. Sometimes we arrange and we do the mistake. Mistake is mistake, and we do. But Allah has set the system. Inform you what you're going to do. That's not good. Don't do it. But sometimes our desires overcome, shaitan overcome, and we ignore it. Systems of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is there. Allah says, "Tuhu ilallah." Or oh, people come back towards me. Take you turn. Come to me. Tawbat al Nasuha. Sincere repentance. That is the refinery system of Islam. That's the expiation of sins. In al Hasanat, yudhib na sayyat. Good deeds take away your sins, minus your sin, wipes, deletes your sins. And Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "O oh people, ittaqillah, fear Allah." Create taqwa. Hai suma kun wherever you are, in privacy, in publicly, alone, any situation. Keep in mind, iza khalaat al-dhara yawman falaat kul khalaat. Walakin kul alayya raqibu. When you alone, don't think you alone. But there are muhafiz, the angels, Allah subhanahu wa taala, looking at you. What you doing? Kiram and katibin, they're writing everything for you. ولا تحسبن الله غافلا عما يعمل الظالمون. When you see around what's going on, don't think Allah doesn't know. Allah knows. But this is His love. This is His love for the human being because He knows the weaknesses of the creation. إن ما يؤخره. He gives time, despite, despite. But when the time, appointed time, come from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, punishment or the death. ولن يؤخر الله نفسا إذا جاء أجله. Allah doesn't give any single time. 
That's why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala accept the repentance of a person, Malam Yugargir, until the rattle death comes. When he can see the eyes are not moving, my legs are not working, my body is not working. That time if he said, Lifulan in Kaza, Lifulan Kaza, give this charity to that person, give this charity to that welfare work, establish the school and madrasa. No, the time is over. It is not the time of repentance. No, you have seen the signs, you're going to die. You cannot do the charity because this charity is going to your children. It's up to them which way they spend. Let's do something in our life. Let's do sincere repentance when we are breathing, when we're feeling hope. We have this hope, we are alive, we're okay. You doing sins, does not matter, look at his mercy. You spend your life 10, 20, 50, 60, still you did not improve yourself, still you hoping for the life, come back towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't look at your sins, look at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna Allah. Allah says, I will forgive all your sins. All your sins. So whatever we did, the main thing, do we feel? Do we realize which way, which fashion I spend my life? Am I respecting my parents? I'm respecting, am I respecting my teachers? Am I looking after the society, the people, the relatives? Are Am I fully fulfilling the duty, the responsibility that's upon my shoulder? Let's examine ourselves. Let's ask ourselves and move forward. Do sincere repentance. Does not matter. لا تذكر الأمس ولا أهدا خلا فالخير فيه أن تذكر المستقبل. Past has gone. Don't mention about that. Learn lesson from your past. It cannot come back. فالخير فيه أن تذكر المستقبل. The best thing for you. Think the time you have in your hand or the coming time. If Allah has given you time and ability, improve yourself and do sincere repentance. My dear brothers, there is five pillars of Islam. Wallahi, every pillar of Islam saying La ilaha illallah, performing the prayer, giving the zakah, fasting, hajj, everything expiate your sins. Kafara to zanub. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives your sins. One time Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Allah has told me in my dream. I have seen the angels, they're discussing the thing and they're writing the things. It is their duty. What were they discussing? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Allah has given me the ability that time in my dream. I was listening and they're talking about the best deed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the sins. There are three things mentioned in Hadith of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The person who comes towards the house of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala performing the prayer by walking or anyway. And secondly, then he performs the prayer and he does the wuzu properly. These are the three things Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala deletes. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wipes the sins of a person. In one Hadith, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, O oh people, Tahtarikuna, tahtarikuna, you are burning yourself. What is the meaning of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, Allah has given me uti to Jamil Kalimat. It means because of your sins, because of your deeds, you're burning yourself. Tahtarikuna, tahtarikun, hatta ida sallaytumul fajr. Then you perform the fajr prayer. And then Again, you busy in worldly things. Tahtarikun hatta ila sallayt muzah. So whatever between that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ghasalatha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wipes, finish your sins. Allahu Akbar. Same way, Asr, Maghrib and Isha. Then, after that, he did not say tahtarikun, tahtarikun. He said hatta tastaykizu. Hatta tanamu, you sleep. Summat tanamun, you sleep. So it means after Isha, we should sleep. And you cannot change the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you sleep at night properly, وَجَعَلْنَا نَوْمَكُمْ سُبَاتًا وَجَعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ لِبَاسًا If you go against the system, even you sleep daytime, 10 hours, 15 hours, you cannot satisfy yourself. But at night, after Isha, if there is no work, you sleep, 
happy you will be happy and please you sleep with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that time if you sleep the angels don't write anything while you're sleeping so it means Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said if you perform Isha prayer and then you perform the Fajr prayer the whole night is like equivalent you perform the ibadah in whole your night Allahu Akbar you sleeping but angels they're writing your reward just like you did the worship and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said hatta tastaykizu then you wake up and when you sleep there are three knots shaitan put on your back when you wake up with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first one open and you ready and do the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perform the prayer one by one these three knots open then you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said when you perform the Fajr prayer you come under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the fully comprehensive insurance my dear brothers and sisters and dear youth and children you come under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then you do the azkar many other scar prophet used to do it so my dear brothers the main thing prophet said that is the good news for you don't look at your age what you did if you're doing sincere repentance you are like just like you did not do anything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha Asa rabbukum an yukaffira ankum sayyiatikum First thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delete your sins Wa yudkhilakum jannatin tajri min tahtil anhar And he will enter you in the paradise underneath the river flow Yawma la yukhzi allahu al-nabi Many people that day they will get humiliation because of their sins But these people those are believers Good to word doing sincere repentance they will not get any humiliation. Walladina Amanu Ma'ahu, those who are believers with the Holy Prophet Nuruhum Yasa Baina Aidihim Babi Aimanim, the light will be front of them and behind them. And the disbeliever, they will not get any light. Going here and they don't know where they are going. They will not see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But oh my dear brothers, oh believers, Ya Ayyuhalladina Amanu, the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressing you. On the day of judgment in the paradise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show you Himself. You will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, When you see in 14 night the moon is complete and stars are the shining, you see moon without any hurdle, without any barrier, without any curtain properly, the same way you will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the paradise. Allahumma ja'allam. Allahumma ja'allam. My dear brothers, how beautiful the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ittaqillah. Fear Allah. Hai sumakun. Wat bi sayyatil hasana. If you did something, do after that. State away good deed. Tam huha. It will wise. One person came to Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Performed the prayer with him. O Prophet of Allah, I did something wrong. And Prophet of Allah said, state away. Did you perform the prayer with us? Yes, Prophet of Allah, I did. He said, go. Allah has forgiven your sins. Allahu Akbar. Minor sins automatically when you show obedience to your parents, when you perform the prayer, when you are a good person in the society, when you remove anything which can harm the people, even the branch, even the stones, even the banana skin from the away of the on the way, you remove it. These are the charities Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala automatically forgives your sins. Prayer to prayer, umrah to umrah, hajj to hajj. These are the expiations, my dear brothers. Let's do sincere repentance towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Me and you, brothers, we are same. We are human being. We are weak. Wastaghfirullah. Do istighfar. Allah rabbul alameen. Wastaghfiruhu. Innahu kana tawwaba. Seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is ever ready to forgive your sins. Don't create disappointment. This is the weapon of shaitan. He says, the way you spent the life. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to forgive you? Impossible. No. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Allah will forgive everyone except those people, it's called mujahideen, those who commit the sin openly. What does the mean openly mean? A person does something wrong at night, Allah does not inform, Allah does not expose but what he did. He himself exposed himself in front of the people. He tells his friends, I did this and that. Allah says, I did not expose him. No, he is exposing. This is the open sin. 
Allah will not forgive these kind of sins when Allah doesn't expose my dear brothers this is the advice take this one in your loneliness if you do mistake ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah will forgive you if you did anything wrong don't expose yourself ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is watching you who knows your privacy look after your privacy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Allahu Akbar the people on the day of judgment the group of people will come they have a lot of good deeds but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will finish their good deeds like scattering dust. What was the reason? إِذَا خَلَوْ بِمَحَارِمَ اللَّهِ إِن When they are alone, they break the hadood, the limits, the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In front of the people, they are different. But when they are alone, they do something else. But still as a human being, if you realize you're doing wrong, the door of tawbah is still open for you, for me, my dear brothers. Let's do sincere repentance. Let's improve our lives. Let's move forward. And having hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our sincere repentance. Uma alayna illa al Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, wa laqibatul muttaqeen, wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidil anbiya wal mursaleen. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. my dear brothers, some people request people are in the hospital, those who are ill, may Allah subhanahu wa taala give them full shifa and full recovery. And those who passed away, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive their sins, enter them paradise. Allahumma ansur al-Islam al-Muslimin. Allahumma izz al-Islam al-Muslimin. Allahumma shfi maradana wa marad al-Muslimin. Allahumma ansur al-Islam al-Muslimin fi kulli makan. Rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa zurriyatina qurrata ayuni wa jahalna al-muttaqina imama. Allahumma hadi abnaana wa abnaa al-Muslimin. Wa banatana wa banat al-Muslimin. Wa nisaana wa nisaa al-Muslimin. Allahumma hadi shabab al-Muslimin. Allahumma ansur ikhwanana fi Falestin. Allahumma ansur ikhwanana fi Gaza. اللهم آمن روعاتهم اللهم اشف مرضاهم اللهم ارحم موتاهم اللهم تقبل شهداءهم اللهم ادخلهم جنة الفردوس وعيدهم من عذاب القبر ومن عذاب النار صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وأصحابه وذرياته أجمعين برحمتك يا رحم الراحمين أقم السلاة ما دي بدس move forward as you know holidays our children are here and too many people standing outside